Hi everyone. Today we'll discuss about the female reproductive system, the internal genitalia. And in the internal genitalia, we'll be discussing about the vagina. And this is the diagram showing the external and internal genitalia of the female reproductive system. So in the previous class, we discussed about the external genitalia or the vulva which consists of uh, labia majora, labia minora, then um, clitoris, urethral opening, vaginal opening, all these. So all these things we, we discussed in the previous lesson. Okay. And uh, today we will be discussing about the organs which are present or which are situated within the pelvic cavity and they are um, called internal genitalia so uh, these are all organs which are present inside which are the part of the reproductive system only those organs which are present inside the body cavity in the pelvic cavity and those organs are called uh, uh, the in, uh, organs of internal genitalia we'll see um, uh, which are those organs that are uh, the organs of the internal genitalia okay so let's uh, go through the introduction so um, this uh, internal genitalia the organs of the internal genitalia are situated within the pelvic cavity they are situated within the pelvic cavity and the internal organs of reproductive system include uh, the first one vagina then the uterus then uterine tubes and ovaries these are the organs uh, of the internal genitalia vagina uterus uterine tube and ovaries and um, here you can see the vagina the vagina then the uterus then the uterine tubes on either side and the ovaries on either side of the ut uh, uterus so let's uh, discuss first about the vagina and in the coming classes we'll discuss about uterus uterine tube and um, the ovaries and first today we'll discuss about the vagina so vagina is a fibromuscular tube made of fibrous tissue and muscles and it is called uh, it is made of formed of fibromuscular tube it is lined with a stratified squamous epithelium the inner lining of the vagina is of stratified squamous epithelium and uh, this is the connection between the external genitalia and the internal genitalia so this vagina is the connecting link between the internal and external genitalia the external genitalia in which is the vulva and the internal genital, gen, genitalia which includes uh, uh, vagina uterus uterine tube and ovary and this is the connecting link vagina is the connecting link between the uh, external genitalia and the internal genitalia between the urinary uh, bladder it is present between the urinary bladder in front and the rectum at the back and uh, this is the structure which is present between the urinary bladder in front and the rectum at the back so here you can see so this is uh, the vagina the vagina which is present between the urinary bladder in front and the rectum at the back so here is the rectum which is present towards the posterior aspect of uh, the vagina and uh, here is the urinary bladder and the urethra and vagina is present posterior to the urinary bladder and the urethra and is present between the urinary bladder in front and rectum at the back okay and it runs upwards and backwards and it is running upward and backward 
and joins with the uterus at the cervix and uh, here it is this urethra which is going backwards and upwards going backwards and upwards and joins with the uterus and it goes up upwards and back slightly backwards and joins with the uterus at its cervix okay so we'll let's see uh, about it uh, the length of the vagina and um, the anterior wall of the vagina <coughs> is about 7.5 cm long and its posterior wall is about 9 cm long so here uh, this is the vulva where uh, the vagina opens into the external genitalia and this is the fibromuscular tube which is uh, getting joined with the uterus the, here is the uterus and it is getting attached with the cervix of the uterus and um, this is its anterior wall and this anterior wall is about 7.5 uh, centimeter long and uh, this posterior wall is slightly longer and this is about 9 centimeter long and uh, this has no secretory glands this vagina has no secretory glands and but it has to be kept moist and it is kept moist by the secretions from the cervix from the cervix of the uterus or we can call cervical secretions the cervical secretions keeps the vagina moist and also it has got a, uh, a bacteria which reside within the vagina and that is uh, lactobacillus acidophilus lactobacillus acidophilus is a bacteria which reside within the vagina which is a normal uh, um, uh, flora where uh, this is not these bacteria are not go um, not causing any harm to the human being and which reside uh, or live within the vagina and um, the, it has a uh, very important role in preventing uh, infection okay. and uh, so it is it is secreting uh, an acid called lactic acid the lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria secretes lactic acid into the uh, in the vagina and it maintains an acidic pH a pH uh, uh, maintained within the vagina is acidic and this acidic nature of the vagina prevents uh, the entry of microorganisms into the ur um, genitourinary tract so genitourinary tract may uh, the, the, the entry of microorganisms are prevented uh, by the acidic nature of the vagina which is um, because of the lactic acid secreted by lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria which reside within the vagina and let's see the structure uh, structure means how the walls of the vagina are formed or made and it is formed of three layers of tissues the, the, the wall of the vagina is made of uh, three uh, layers of tissue and there are three layers of tissue that makes a wall of the vagina there is an outer layer and a middle layer and an inner layer the outer covering or the outer layer is made of uh, connective tissue and that outermost layer the outermost layer of the vagina <coughs> is um, called adventitia and which is made of connective tissue and there is a, a middle layer inner to that it's a middle layer inner to that inner to the adventitia there is a middle layer and that middle layer is a layer of smooth muscle smooth muscles forms the middle layer and there is one more layer there is one more layer inner to that in the, in the vagina there is the outer layer is formed of connective tissue otherwise called adventitia 
and middle layer is a muscular layer and the innermost layer the innermost lining is a mucosa is called the mucosa mucosa and this mucosa is formed of stratified squamous epithelium mucosa formed by stratified squamous epithelium which lines the mucosa so this layer the innermost layer is mucosa and there are folds there are circular folds uh, uh, in the mucosa in the mucosa they are, there are folds present and they are called uh, rugae r u g a e it, those are called rugae those folds in the innermost layer or in the mucosa are called rugae okay and um, the so this is uh, the structure and in that uh, this is the wall this is the wall of the vagina and this is the uterus and this is the cervix where it joins with the uterus and if you see here uh, a section of this wall is taken and in that it is enlarged the innermost layer this innermost layer is the mucosal layer and inner to that there is another layer and this layer is the muscular layer and into that is uh, the connective tissue layer and this connective tissue layer is otherwise called adventitia so the outermost layer is adventitia the outermost layer is the adventitia and middle is muscular layer and the innermost layer is mucosal layer and here you can see uh, the rugae there are folds in the mucosa this is the vagina the wall of the vagina and there are folds in the mucosa and those folds are called rugae okay and uh, let's see the blood supply uh, to the vagina the blood is been supplied by the oxygenated blood the oxygenated blood is supplied by vaginal artery and the deoxygenated blood which consists larger amounts of carbon dioxide or the venous blood is been drained from the vagina by vaginal vein so you can see that here the vaginal artery here is a vaginal artery which which brings oxygenated blood and then the vaginal vein and which is taking away the deoxygenated blood from the vagina and uh, this is the Uh, the out, um, external genitalia this is the vestibule into which the urethra into which the urethra opens and uh, here you can see the uh, labia minora and here is uh, the hymen and in that to that is the vagina which is getting uh, attached to the cervix this is the cervix of the uterus okay and that's all about the blood supply the blood supply is through with vaginal artery and vaginal vein and the functions let's see the functions of the uh, vagina so it is a receptacle for penis during sexual intercourse it receives the penis during sexual intercourse and it act as a passage way for the fetus during childbirth this is acting as a passage way for the uh, fetus during childbirth the uh, the fetus uh comes out through the uh, through the vagina uh, from the uterus it uh, comes through the vagina into the exterior okay so it is a passage way for the fetus and uh, this is the link between the external genitalia and the internal genitalia which, oh, which we already discussed so main function this receives the penis during sexual intercourse and it act as a passage way for the uh fetus during childbirth that's all and that's all about the uh vagina and thank you very much so today we'll dis- we discussed about the female reproductive system in the female re- reproductive system we were discussing about the internal genitalia and that to uh, the first one vagina okay thank you very much and we'll meet Uh, we'll continue with the uh, uterus in the next class thank you